Okay, this video is to show you the uh, ankle taping, and um, there'll also be a description online and with the the grading sheet and the rubric, so you can read that over as well. Um, what you won't do, uh, you won't have the the heel and lace pads or the tough skin. You're going to have to find yourself some athletic tape um, and some pre-wrap probably to uh, to practice this because you're going to be needing to send the videos in to me. But um, we got some heel and lace pads. Uh, they just have some uh, lube on them. They're styrofoam. They go um, on the front of the heel and on the back of the heel um, just to prevent some blisters and tape cuts for that. Um, you use tough skin or some kind of a spray. Um, spray it on the area. Don't coat them. That will allow the tape job to stick better. Some people are allergic to that, so if people are getting a rash, then uh, stop using that, and that's probably the best. Um, you're going to need some pre-wrap. Uh, that you get a better tape job if you just tape to the skin, but people don't like that. It irritates things, so you use pre-wrap. The other thing when you tape the ankle is you need to have the foot uh, in dorsiflexion. Have them keep it there. Uh, that's the most position, stable position for the ankle um, with that. Start your pre-wrap um, up from the medial malleolus, um, either where the calf comes into the leg or about one and a half up. That's usually pretty good um, for that. You're going to go around itself a couple times. Now the pre-wrap, you're just going to have to figure out what works good for you. Um, don't force it to go somewhere it doesn't want to go, it will roll. Um, go down to the base of the foot. Make sure everything is covered from where you started to the base of the foot. Don't leave any spaces. That will give you tape cuts. Finish at the top. All right, now we're going to get into the tape job. Um, you're going to start with anchor strips. You do two, two to three, overlap halfway. Okay, overlap them halfway. That doesn't let you have any gaps. Gaps cause tape cuts. Okay, tape sticks better to tape, so that's why we do those. Now we have stirrups. They go in the middle of the heel, up the medial malleolus, and then over to the lateral malleolus stick those down just your pressure is straight up the leg not in or out just straight up okay and then anchor that down so they stay those compress the talus and calcaneus and kind of squash that ankle together okay now we have figure eights you start on the the medial malleolus come across down to this bump right here base of the fifth go straight underneath Come back across, around the lateral malleolus, and finish your eight off by tearing it where you started. Okay, you're going to do two of those right over top of each other. Again, don't force the tape to go where it doesn't want it. Just it's going to wrinkle on you. Okay, those prevent plantar flexion. Now the trickiest part is a heel lock. Okay, it prevents the ankle from going inversion, eversion. So we're going to start, and you can do this the way I do it, or you can do it exactly backwards. It really doesn't matter. It's just getting the job done. You're going to come across the front, behind the ankle, come across, have this nice little angle right here. That's where you want it. You don't want it hanging off the end. You don't want it way up here. You want it right in through here. Come around, finish where you started. Okay? Two of those right over top of each other on each side. So I started this way first, now I'm going to go this way. Behind, across, up, and around. One more of those. Okay, now you got closing strips. They're just like your anchor strips. They hold everything together. Hide all your wrinkles, make it look good, make the tape job kind of be more solid. Okay, now when I'm getting to here, I need to start angling my tape towards my toes. All right, so then now it's not touching, it's just going to touch the edge of the tape. That's my outline right here. Go all the way down until you get to the bottom of the foot. Okay, smooth it out. Check for any gaps. There's a lot of times there's one gap on the bottom of the foot. Cover that up. Okay. Now I do a figure eight exactly like I did before. 
covers all these loose ends, prevents some planter flexion, ties everything together. Okay, then the last thing is a sock strip. Cover the end of the tape up so that your sock doesn't roll off the tape. Smooth it down. Okay, so then that's it. Now, you also need to know how to cut this off the easiest, and it's very easy to go up the middle of the foot, behind the lateral malleolus or medial malleolus and up. Don't go over top of it. Don't go around it. This is the easiest place to do that. Okay, so just cut it behind. Now, you don't have to cut your athlete's tape off. Just tell them how to do it. Up, okay, so then that's what you've got there.